like being artistic. I like designing. Mm -hmm. I like to change the way things are. It's a variety. It's something different almost every day. I was working a lot, but I kept losing muscle mass. Then the numbness started. I went to shave, and I couldn't depress my shaving can cream to get the cream out. So I had to literally put it on the counter and lean on it. And I went down and told my wife, I said, something's not right. It was just deteriorating, and you could physically see it, which was scary because we didn't know what, you know, um, was really happening. He basically had to stay in the bed because he couldn't do anything. So you could see that his spinal cord and his cervical spine was literally crushed at multiple levels. He had significant disc herniations at every level with bone spurs. And in the back of his neck, he had significant ligamentous buildup. When you compress the spinal cord, the slightest bit of compression can cause enormous amounts of effects. And in his case, it was very high in his cervical spine. So he was losing, he was becoming quadriplegic where he couldn't use his arms or his legs. The first surgery was the back of the neck. And when he woke up, um, the first thing he said was, I can feel my fingers and toes. I could stand up, I was walking. Pond five. I could, I could shake his hand, I mean, and actually squeeze it. We came in from the back and removed the lamina. You can see these bones here, they're missing here. The spine just straightened back out and the fluid actually ended up getting back to where it needed to be. Walked out of the hospital and he's made, uh, you know, a great recovery thus far. I was treated like a rock star, I and mean, there really was. I, I couldn't have been treated any better. There just are hardly words to describe him. How's your strength? Doing well. From the first time we met him, we push. his mission was we're going to fix okay. this. And push. there was no question about that. Patients um, that we see, some of them have had chronic pain, some of them have very acute pain. We are very conservative in our practice. We like for patients to have explored everything prior to surgery if it's, a, if it's possible. 90% of what I see does not need surgery. And then the 10% that we see that need surgery, the majority of those are smaller surgeries. 80% of the surgeries we do are generally out of the hospital within 23 hours, not even a full stay. I'm back to working, and uh, that's something I hadn't done really since June. I'm doing outdoor work, painting jobs coming up. Uh, it's kind of nice to be able to at least do something. Just, you know, watching him go to, from a point where he he was a man who could always do anything. There was nothing he couldn't do, ever. Um, and everybody relied on him for that. And to watch him get to a point where he couldn't do anything, and then now he's back. I'm very blessed.